Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Thursday, May 30th. I'm James Spann. Pretty typical late May weather continues around here for the next few days, and we're watching the tropics. Interesting setup in the southwest gulf. Let's take a look. A look at some of the sky cam shots captured around the network early this morning. And you know it. It's the insane hour of 5 a.m. That's our Fayette sky cam. Evidence of a little daylight there. Here's a look at uh, the Birmingham sky cam looking north and down south. The Alabama Gulf Coast, uh, plenty of good parking available at 5 o'clock in the morning on the uh, public beach there, right by the hangout. And as we often like to mention, uh, for those that are headed down that way, uh, a bit good uh, oh, seven to nine hours of sunshine each day through the weekend with a few scattered showers and storms around, but uh, widespread rain should not be an issue down there anytime soon. Those uh, little passing showers are what's expected this time of the year. Negative tilt trough slowly working its way eastward. And again, that's going to set up more severe weather today in advance of that. But around here, the upper high is just south and east of us, and that'll set up a pretty standard late May day. We're starting the day mostly in the 70s. We'll wind up in the mid to upper 80s today, but mornings will be any progressively warmer, which is a sign that the air is pretty moist. We got uh, flash flood watches up for much of Missouri and Iowa, some of the adjacent states, parts of uh, eastern Montana under a flash flood watch. Uh, this morning. There's the severe weather outlook for today, the standard slight risk from near Lake Texoma to Des Moines. That would include Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Wichita, Kansas City. Tomorrow, the risk inches eastward. Little Rock's involved in that. St. Louis, Chicago, Indianapolis, almost over to uh, Detroit and Cleveland. Day three, which is Saturday, the slight risk runs from Dallas-Fort Worth over to Little Rock, Memphis, Indianapolis, and Detroit just north and west of Alabama. And on day five or four, which is Sunday, no risk here, just a uh, risk up in the uh, northeast United States. Uh, bottom line is organized severe weather not expected here anytime soon. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Tuesday morning of next week. The bigger numbers over Missouri, parts of Illinois, Iowa, Ohio, and around here, it's uh, painting, uh, what, uh, one half to three quarters of an inch. And uh, these maps are not as useful during the summer months as they are in the cold season due to the scattered nature of the storms we get every day. Some people might get that with just one shower in one hour. You know, others getting absolutely nothing. But, uh, um, again, we'll take a look at the modeling here in just a second. All right, look at here now. This is uh, what used to be Hurricane Barbara. Made landfall yesterday. On the southwest Mexican coast, it has made the trek across the inland region now about to emerge over the southwest gulf in the Bay of Campeche. And uh, this is the track coming from the Hurricane Center. Uh, they've got it moving offshore uh, this morning as a post-tropical system. And the question is, will it maintain its identity and try and get its act together in the Gulf. And, and if it maintains its identity, it, it keeps the name Barbara. Uh, not many have done that. Some have, but not many. This is modeling on Barbara, and uh, most guidance keeps it in that vicinity for days, three, four, five days, just sits down there. And again, we'll just have to keep an eye on things. We'll, we'll see how the Hurricane Center plays it. It's kind of uh, you know, the, the structure obviously is not as good, but clearly it's 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 still there. It's, the core is still there. So that'll be interesting to watch. And we'll, again, look at the guidance and see how it handles that in coming days. This is the GFS, the uh, OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. There's your trough north and west of the state. Surface low is over the Dakotas, 990 millibars. And you can see the uh, howling winds from Texas up into uh, Missouri. In Iowa, and that's where severe weather is a distinct possibility later today. Around here today will be a lot like yesterday. There could be a few pop-up showers. Uh, this is the high-resolution NAM, valid uh, this evening at 7 o'clock, and it's not showing a lot. It's got a few a handful of showers out there. It'll be a lot like yesterday. Uh, if you like the numbers game, chance of any one spot getting wet will be about 1 in 4. 
This is tomorrow at 4 p.m. It's the same thing. A partly sunny chance of a few scattered afternoon storms. Highs mid to upper 80s. Saturday as we start the weekend, the main dynamic forcing remains well to the north. We got a flat 588 ridge on the Gulf. And down below that, just not much change. Partly sunny, the chance of a passing storm in scattered spots. The better chance Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, and about the same odds. Uh, the main organized uh, active weather remains north and west of the state. Uh, this is the high-resolution NAM at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon, and really it doesn't have a lot there. Uh, the better chance of showers would become a little later in the day. Go to Sunday, cold front coming in from the north and west, and that should represent an increase in the number of showers and storms. Not going to rain all day, but it certainly should rain at times. Highs uh, probably dropping down into the mid-80s. And uh, again, down to the south, we've still got what used to be Barbara. It's gone nowhere. I mean, it just sits there all the way through Sunday, just off that uh, Mexican coast in the Bay of Campeche. Now, Monday, the GFS wants to dry us out. And uh, can this happen? Yes, but cold fronts don't have the big southward push that they do in the spring, in June. This is June 3rd. Uh, we've left the chance of a few showers in the forecast for Monday uh, based on the idea this might not happen. We'll go to Tuesday, and it's got us bone dry. And if this would write Tuesday, is right, Tuesday would be a sunny day with a high of mid to upper 80s. And Wednesday, we're still dry. So uh, we, we still lean toward a solution where we're not going to get dry with some risk of scattered showers both days. We'll fine-tune that. And, and that thing that used to be Barbara, it is still in the same place. I mean, it goes nowhere. Um, and this is a week from today, Thursday, June 6th. For us, typical stuff, partly sunny, chance of a pop-up afternoon shower. Um, the disturbed weather continues down in the southern Gulf. Highs in the 80s. Let's go out there two more days. Ooh, look at here now. June 8th, all of a sudden, our little uh, system that was Barbara is now nearing Pensacola. And if by chance this is right, this would suggest some big rains maybe from about the Pensacola on east. Remember, the east side is the wet side with all the rain. The west side of the thing is the dry side. Most runs have had it much farther east, uh, over toward the Florida Big Bend region around Cedar Key. Um of course, this is pure speculation. Then on the 9th, it's uh, basically in around Pensacola with the big rains over Georgia and North Florida. So uh, could this happen? Sure. But again, we just don't know. It is too early to call at this point. Just something to watch. We'll check the end of the forecast, June 14th. We've seen a lot of different looks out here. Confidence not really high. We've seen some runs of the GFS that build this nasty heat bubble back over the southwest United States and a, a, a troughiness here. This is showing uh, really just kind of a flat ridge across the deep south with a chance of scattered showers, nothing out of the ordinary. But uh, uh, So, again, consistency out there, not good, but we'll keep watching. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News, on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and great day, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.